Good morning, Chairwoman Maloney, Ranking Member Jordan, and members of the committee. I'm Kevin Allis, and I'm a tribal citizen of the Forest County Potawatomi community in Wisconsin. I'm also the Chief Executive Officer of the National Congress of American Indians. And on behalf of NCAI, I thank you for holding the hearing and reaching hard to count communities in the upcoming 2020 Census. I'm the son of a woman who grew up on a hard to reach Indian reservation in the 40s, 50s, and early 60s. The grandson of a chairman of a tribe who raised these concerns in the late 50s and early 60s. NCA was founded in 1944, and my grandfather interacted with this organization in the 50s and 60s about this topic and many. And NCAI is the oldest and largest national organization serving the broad interests of tribal nations and communities. Tribal leaders created NCAI in response to termination and assimilation policies that threaten the existence of tribal nations. Since then, NCAI has fought to preserve the treaty and sovereign rights of tribal nations, advance the government-to-government -government relationship, and remove historical structural impediments to self-determination. There's been much success, yet there is much more work to do for Indian country to fully realize the promises this nation made, this body of Congress made, and this country owes to Indian country and its treaty and trust responsibilities. Like all other governments, tribal nations strive to build strong economies and ensure the health and well-being of their citizens. A full and accurate count in the census is absolutely vital to these efforts. 2020 census data will do three important things. Whether American Indians and Alaska Natives have an equal voice and are accurately represented in an American political process. Whether there is fair distribution of the billions of dollars of federal funding to tribal nations and communities across the United States. And whether the tribal nations have accurate data for programmatic and resource related decision makings that their tribal leaders, leaders make that are central to their status as sovereigns. Given the importance of census data, the prospect of yet another undercount of American Indians and Alaska Natives is deeply concerning. American Indians and Alaska Native people, especially on reservations and in villages in Alaska, have been historically underrepresented in this census. In 2010, the U.S. Census Bureau estimates that American Indians and Alaska Natives living on reservations or in these villages were undercounted by 4.9 percent. That's more than double the undercount of the next closed population group. It is a fact that American Indian and Alaska Native populations are among the hardest to count. Not only does a significant portion of our population live in these hard to count tracks, we also exhibit many of the factors that contribute to communities being hard to count. Additionally, a Census Bureau survey in our own message testing found issues affecting American Indian and Alaska Native census participation to be including mistrust of government, concerns related to privacy, and perceptions that participation would not lead to anything. The Census Bureau, as a federal agency, has treaty and trust obligations to overcome these challenges and provide a complete and accurate account for Indian country. As it stands today, tribal nations are concerned that we will again see an undercount in 2020. The decision of the Census Bureau to focus efforts on online enumeration is a significant risk, as many communities and individual households in Indian country do not have access to the Internet. This strategy, along with the need for trusted voices on the ground in tribal communities, emphasize how critical it is for the Census Bureau to allocate resources to hire and retain American Indian and Alaska Native enumerators and partnership specialists. Yet, which is a few weeks before enumeration begins in Alaska, it's still unclear whether this goal has been reached. Moreover, we are also concerned about the delays in the Census Bureau's American Indian an Alaska Native advertising campaign. Recommendations, Indian country has been working tirelessly to ensure an accurate and complete count. However, our efforts are not to replace those or absolve the U.S. Census Bureau of its responsibility to use its staff and resources to ensure a full enumeration of American Indian and Alaska Native populations. As such, NCAI recommends that Census Bureau make steps to implement the following actions immediately address delays in hiring American Indian and Alaska Native enumerators and partnership specialists to enhance the utilization of trusted sources for Indian country population to rely upon. Reallocate resources to address needs for more communication actions to ensure a complete enumeration 
of American Indian and Alaska Native populations. Increase communications to tribal communities on what resources are available to ensure their participation is complete. Increase media buys in a more diverse areas for tribal communities. Ensure that data collected about American Indian and Alaska Native households and individuals is accurate and accessible after the implementation of a planned new disclosure avoidance methodologies. So in conclusion, in closing, I urge this committee to continue conducting oversight during the Census Bureau implementation of the 2020 Census. This will help ensure a complete and accurate count for the indigenous people of this country. Thank have you. have been here forever. Thank, Thank you. you.